Okay, now let's create different sections of the site. Um, we're making a two-page site. We're making a home section and a page one section. You can add more sections um, um, once you get more familiar with the structure of the site. So let's go ahead and um, add a text layer. Your text layer. And we'll select frame one and we will use the uh, the text tool uh, we will use uh, we'll use a, a light gray and we'll go ahead and draw some text on here we'll just call it home okay so as you can tell you can add more more text on here later on but um, as you can tell on this frame it's all filled out so you need to be able to break it up so before that happens make sure that um, when you have this selected go to your properties and make sure that your text is set to uh, classic text so that it shows up back on the text frame uh, you want to split that up because you want to change frame 2 to say page 1 or different type of text so hit F6 twice on your keyboard then select the second frame so with the second frame selected you want to double click on the home text and label that Let's label that page 1 again you can add more text later on if you want so now you have home in page 1 okay now let's go ahead and add um, text to these buttons so you know where you're going so let's go ahead and double click on the first button then you're gonna add a uh, another layer in that layer you're gonna use your text tool and you're going to type in home and we'll put that in the first button and then we're going back to go back to scene one click on the second button and repeat the process so you want to add a different layer there grab your text tool and call this page one and drag that on top of the second button there okay go back to scene one so now we're almost done we're almost done we have if you you know we can drag the uh, slider off to page uh, or frame two you'll see that it'll be page one uh, drag the slider back to frame one and you're back to home so all we need to do is add actions to uh, both of these buttons so uh, why don't you hit F9 to bring up your actions um, actually you don't have to hit, hit F9 just um, go ahead and click on th this first frame bring up your actions um, panel here where all your your actions is um, hit enter a couple times and then paste this code um, this code here is included in the uh, text document that you have to download from our site on dreamlinestudio.com um, this this code here will will tell you uh, you know which for example the home button the instance label home stops at frame one instance label page one stops at frame two let's go ahead and test that and uh, the way you test this is by hitting control enter on your keyboard and if you look here uh, now you have a site here um, starts out with the home page and when you click on page one it goes to page one click on home it goes back to home um, the email us uh, works um, you can uh, the external website this works as well and our miscellaneous that uh, goes to another page to our website um, works as well 
So there you have it. You have a full-fledged AS3 built flash sight. Um, it's pretty basic, um, but you can actually build on this. Um, for example, the action script, um, you can add more buttons by adding um, this copy and paste um, this paragraph and keep adding it on and on. And all you have to do is change the uh, the names of the uh, uh, you know the movie clips or the buttons and get that to work as well. So that's it. Um, hope you enjoyed our tutorial. And uh, now you can go to your friends and say you know you created your first AS3 while they're still stuck on AS2. Thank you very much. Have a good day.